still... Come on, best you. Then kill me instead, Eros. At least, let me die by your hand. <laughs> when did you realize it was me? Did I make it too obvious for you? Oh, or was it her doing? Huh? Me? I see, I see. I must have missed something when I was wiping the data. <laughs> Very good. All those setbacks and troubles really were stirred up by me. All this time, I've been drawing you all towards me. Ever since... Oh, yes. Where it all started. Hunter's death. What? What do you mean? That Cartier should be hired by you was another part of my plan. And so was Eros's awakening. And so was Eros's awakening, your quest for the relics, and finally, your arrival here. All of it! I've been pulling the strings the whole time! <laughs> Can't you guess? Maybe I just wanted to bring you back in order to mess with you even harder. Maybe I've let you come this far, only to pull the rug out from under you. Now that you know this has all been my doing, that there's nowhere left to go, don't you feel like you're on the edge of losing your mind? Isn't the thought of it simply delicious? My objective has been to keep you all guessing before I finally reveal my grand scheme. Of the seven relics, five of them were long within my grasp. I had no way to retrieve the others. They were guarded by the Vesperine as holy artifacts. Since I couldn't get to them myself, I knew you'd never be able to collect all seven relics. And as long as you were unable to complete your reawakening, Eros, I knew I'd have nothing to fear. You'd be able to find these vessels for your goddesses using the resonance of the remaining relics, and the drama would unfold scene by scene. Of course, I had to use my powers to sow some of my seeds of chaos into your souls during the process. I scattered the relics all over, so that you'd be reunited with each of your concubines when the right time came. <laughs> And you'd slowly get your strength back, too. That can't be right. My relic... This earring... Was an heirloom passed down by my mother. Ooh, well... Of course I had to plant a few false memories, too. That was all part of the fun. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I've only given you the half of it. Don't worry, you'll see. Anyway, I couldn't make it smooth sailing for you the whole time. That wouldn't be any fun at all. There's always got to be an obstacle or two. So I spiced up some of your adventures along the way. Oof, wow. It's almost like I'm a game designer or something. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, I might not have been in control of everything that happened, but... Mostly it all went according to plan. You don't seem to understand. 
If you were to take me as Aphrodite and kill this vessel of hers, you'd just be fulfilling one of the endings I've had long prepared. Don't you just love how fate offers itself to us? All its diverging forms and paths for us to walk. Why else would I leave my plans so riddled with flaws and contradictions? And use Ruth herself to remind you of my name, Lord of the Abyss. It's nothing to me whether you discover me or not. I've never cared either way. Clever boy! How about it? Want to try my true power for size? Ah, uh, just wait. Let me find my place in the script again. Hmm. Ah, uh, here. <laughs> and his comrades, having finally unmasked the mastermind pulling the strings, now seek to vanquish evil once and for all. But the wicked demon snaps her fingers and... Oops! You've got yourself surrounded! <laughs> so, let's savor it one more time. The taste of betrayal. <laughs> she might have used me once. But strictly speaking, Roof was the one who employed me. So if you're really the Lord of the Abyss you say you are, then you're not the one I answer to. This guy's done a lot of bad stuff. But messing with my memories? That's a whole other level. Eros, on the other hand, has given us reams of pleasure! <laughs> Miriam and I are two of a pair. We'd never do anything to betray our Mr. Eros. I believe in you, my lord. Even if he's a big bad bro sometimes, I wouldn't change him for the world. Hear that? Looks like you're reading from the wrong script. We'll never be... <gasps> Betray... Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Who's fluffing their lines now? Didn't you hear what I said? I've long sowed my seeds of chaos in your souls. They should be germinating and sprouting their shoots right about now. <laughs> she had us! It ain't possible. What's happening? My head's gonna explode! I feel like I'm on fire! I can't... I can't handle it! My brother, save me! I can't control myself! <laughs> it's my specialty. I've infiltrated their souls and made them into my little playthings. Watch out! These ones will be a whole lot more powerful than those avatars I sent your way before. The best part is, the more you've stimulated their goddess powers, the harder they'll be to deal with now. <laughs> and even better, if you beat them to death, you'll be killing the vessels along with them. <laughs> so, how do you feel now, hmm, Eros? <laughs> You'll have to get past your girls 